So um, how do you get a baby astronaut to sleep? Mm. No. You rock it. <laughs> Hello, all you little headset Henrys. We are giving away a PlayStation VR 2 on the channel. Stick around to the end of this video to find out how to enter. Hi, and welcome back to Virtually Real. This is Ryan, mm. and we're sending him into space. Oh, my hands. Wow. Give old claw hand back. No, no movement there. Where is this so-called underground complex? Wow, okay, I'm in now. Epsilon, do you read me? I read, I read. Just a moment, something's wrong, sir. Uh-oh. We're encountering some problems with the capsule on re-entry. It's burning up. Oh, it's getting hot in here. Quick, what do I do? Hi Ryan, welcome back. Thank you, well, uh, it's good to be back, Karen. So the last time you were over was when we started this channel about a year ago. Mm -hmm. So you were on the PSVR 1. I was. This was your first time on the PSVR 2. Yes. What were your impressions? Yeah, you can definitely notice a drastic improvement from the VR 1 to this one. The, the detail in surface textures, the clarity, everything, it's its amazing. It's so immersive. I thought the last one was immersive, but this is, just takes it to a whole new level. Crash landed. Okay, I'm out. Agent Epsilon, Ooh. do you copy? Epsilon, wow. can you hear me? It's so, I can hear you. Christ, I hope Epsilon made it. Yeah, I made it. Error. Uh-oh. Uh-huh. Oh, here we go. Wait, can I claw it? Oh no, it doesn't matter. All right, the data drive's been uploaded. Now try to scan that sign again for me. Uh huh. All systems operating oh at yeah, power. okay. The motion thing, now, I'm feeling it. You to find that facility. But I'm good. The underground wow, it feels so weird. It's so the it's this. I feel like there's a lot more depth here than in the previous. VR. So after the intro, it, it basically you crash land almost on um, mm. on one of the moons of Saturn or one of the asteroids around Saturn, yep. I believe it is. Um, and it starts to take you through the control system. How did you find the controls and the tutorial to kind of get mm. you up to speed pretty easy? Yeah, I mean, I, I didn't sort of follow the tutorial I, too much. I just like to try and get in there and fiddle around and see if I can get the hang of it. Um even, you know, I, I didn't play it for too long, but by the end, I was starting to get far more fluid with all the controls. I feel like this is probably where I should be going. No, do I reach out? There we go. Mmm. What is that thing? Looks like it does something. There's stuff everywhere. Let's pull this lever. What could possibly go wrong? That'll do. Oh, it just feels so real. Oh, I'm hearing voices. Yeah, it's getting used to the movement. It sort of takes a little bit for your, your brain to adjust to. There's something suspicious on the wall over there. Uh-huh. Another one of these bad boys. I'm gonna just grab these two bad boys. Now, these look like they would likely go in here. Aha! Two hands required. Hence the two handles. Makes sense. Now, this is part of our Halloween series. Um, people will argue that Red yeah. Matter is not a Halloween game, but it's very atmospheric. Mm, it How is. did you find the look and the feel of the game? Yeah, I, I love it. I think that, you know, it's it's kind of got a bit of a Bond type. You know, everything sort of seems like it's got a bit of a Russian slant to it. it it's got these Bond kind of vibes about it. Um, and, yeah, the, the detail, like I was looking at the glass and the reflection off different things and it's so realistic. And you look at rocks and there's just so much detail in everything. So it, it just feels 
it feels like you're there. I'll just close that. Just, I don't know why. I just felt the need to close it. Oh, hello. Okay, so now I've got to figure out what has to happen in this room. So, oh, what about this one? Ooh. And that one. Cool. Oh, I've done something. What have I done? Oh, I can. Hmm. Something happened. And this one. Oh, okay. What's that say? Oh. oh, hello. Okay, so these things, I guess, are the security clamps. Oh, there we go. Now, at its heart, this is a puzzle mm -hmm. game. Mm -hmm. um, uh, you you described it. You're like it feels like a bit of a, like an escape room mm. kind of game, which it kind of is. You you get to an area. There's a puzzle to figure out and then you move on to the next area. How did you find the puzzles? Yeah, they're quite challenging. Uh, there was a couple of times I was like, I'm lost. I, I don't know what I need to do here. But, um, you know, I, that's also just because I wanted to get through it really quickly. <laughs> you know, I just feel the need to try and solve it straight away. But um, I guess that's a good thing that they weren't so easy that you could just do it straight away and move to the next thing and do it and then... You know, you really had to think about it, but it was a good, it's a good challenge. It's yeah, it did, it did feel like being in a, a virtual escape room. <laughs> Is this where I came from? I don't remember. Now we're have to find no, a it's not. The the we're Excellent. Be there. What's this say? The base is currently on lockdown. Please use your credentials to access the lower levels. Sasha Riss has entered but hasn't exited, so I gotta watch out for that. And Staz Volkov. They're always Russian. Oh, it's Staz Volkov's suit. Oh, here we go. Access denied. Security key needed. Okay. So I need security key somehow. Maybe there could be a security key in one of these lockers. Who knows? <laughs> oh, hello. Excellent. And there is this tension as well. I don't know if it's just the music or the lighting in the room, but I constantly felt on edge. Well, you know, you're trying to solve these things and you're under pressure to figure something out and you feel like you've got to watch over your shoulder the whole time, like what's going to happen next? But at any point it could just suddenly turn and something changes and <laughs> catches you off guard. So I was, I was sort of expecting something like that to happen, but I didn't come across any people or aliens or any of that sort of stuff, but it just felt like at any moment. Well, I've only played this game up to around where mm -hmm. you played. I have played Red Matter 2 and completed it. And mm -hmm. that was kind of the same thing where it's very atmospheric, very on edge, but very rarely was there. That that game has a bit of shooting in it. This one yeah. doesn't. The, the, um, but yeah, it's more to do about it's all the puzzles. Yeah, it's all the puzzles. But you right. feel you the, the way mm. they've done the, the design, the way it looks yeah. when you're in rooms and the shadows and it's dark. Yeah, and, stuff like and there's that. just there's rem, you know there's things like there's glass and cups on on the tables and wine and there's you know I picked up a ticket and it was like some warning to someone that they'd been drinking on the job or whatever and so it feels like there's been people there and that you've just walked into this space where something's happened and everyone's had to evacuate very quickly for some reason there's stuff sort of lying around everywhere oh we're really going deep here find the classified documents the detail is amazing like the texture on the walls and everything is amazing. Definitely a step up from VR1. Oh, I'm not liking this. Access granted. Here we go. Progress. What are these little things? Omega capacitor. Dunno. 
Hmm. A lot of Omega capacitors. Don't know what they're for, but... What does this one say? Do not work well intoxicated. Oh, that's... There we go. This is what we've been after. Can I get the lid off? No. Uh-huh. Okay. Interesting. Oh, okay, the specific. So I've got to put, I've put that one in. I've got to put that. This one goes in here, I believe. Yeah, the it, world it, building works, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, it does. And if you take the time to really read everything, you know, there's lots of signs everywhere, but if you take the time to read it, you can sort of get a bit of a picture of what they're, they're trying to indicate might have happened. You know, there's a, a board where it, people have checked in and checked out and you can see that some of them haven't checked out. So you're kind of like, oh, what's happened here? <laughs> well, when so, I play games, I, I am like scan everything, yeah, read everything, yeah. get, a, get, get the whole story and yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, it's good. I think it's worth doing because that's part of the story and you can just race through and skip over all that, but then you just you miss so much of what the developer of the game's trying to portray. So, yeah. Battery rack. Protection relay. I think I need to take this with me. There it is. Power factor. Uh-huh. Oh. Oh, don't tell me that just turned them all off. <laughs> Genius. That, that, to that. That's a little bit faster. Oh, why is it doing that? It doesn't stay. Mm-hmm. There we go. What's happening? Oh, something's happening over there. Good job, Agent. Open. Subsystems are up and running. Okay, well, we do this mm. at the end of every virtual reel. Um, are you intrigued by the game? Do you want to play it more? Do you give this game a thumbs up or a thumbs down? I would love to continue playing this one. I think that it's it's really intriguing and I would have kept going had I not got motion sick at the end. So if I could overcome that and yeah, and I had the time, I'd love to continue with that game. It definitely drew, it definitely drew me in. So I'm giving it two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. There we go. I give it two thumbs up. Vertical yeah, Robot, the developers here. The game looks amazing. It plays amazing. Okay. Yeah. Well, we are nearly one year old. So wow. we are giving away one of these on the channel. Bill your headset Henry's to coincide with our one year anniversary of creating content, we are giving away a PSVR 2 headset. How do I win this magical face attachment? It's easy, just subscribe and leave a comment on any of the videos on the channel. The prize will be randomly drawn on the 31st of October, so you might get a shock for Halloween. All that's left to say is thank you Ryan for coming over and playing some PSVR 2. Thank you, Kieran. Anytime. Thank you at home for watching. Stay virtually real. Bye. See ya. So what did the astronaut say when he smashed into the moon? Mm. I apologize. <laughs> That's terrible. That is a shocker.